So we've returned to our specimen with tetralogy to explore the remainder of the pulmonary arterial supply. You will remember we've already looked at the systemic to pulmonary collateral artery that supplies exclusively part of the right lower lobe. We see that also in this particular heart there are a leash of collaterals arising from the descending aorta and this particularly large one feeds into the left pulmonary artery at the hilum of the left lung. Note that there is then a stenosis in the more peripheral part of the left pulmonary artery. You see that the left pulmonary, the left pulmonary artery itself has then been tied off, but initially the pulmonary arteries were confluent so that this large collateral fed also the right lung through the confluent arteries. But in addition, initially, there had also been a series of collateral arteries that fed across towards the right pulmonary artery, which you see is a substantial vessel, but those collateral arteries were divided and replaced by a modified blaylock tausig shunt placed by the surgeon. So that in this heart, the surgeon has replaced the pulmonary arterial supply to the larger part of the pulmonary parenchyma fed through the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries. And in fact, in this particular specimen, all of the pulmonary parenchyma now, apart from that supplied by the individual systemic to pulmonary collateral artery is now fed through the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries.